Hello, and in this episode, I'm gonna show you some simple coding using the Lego Powered Up app, so your train can do something like this. First off, you'll need a powered up train motor and a powered up train hub. And here I'm using my iPad with the powered up app installed. And first things first, let's get all those batteries into the hub. I use EBL um, 1100 batteries, which last quite a while, about sort of six to eight hours before they need recharging. These yellow bricks, they're just there so I can knock up a quick frame on top of the motor to mount the hub. There we go. Now I'm going to plug the motor into port A. Back to the app. Uh, here's the home screen that you'll get. Uh, we're going to click on the top right, which is create. And we're met with this menu. We click on the plus and we get given a great name called Olivia but we're going to call it something else one train would probably be more apt so there we go we click on the red arrow which brings us to this select coding and we've got this page first thing we'll start with an arrow there we go that's our start button and we need a motor so let's get that it's a green one there motor with speed set at 50 and now let's click on the Bluetooth symbol and let's turn our hub on. There we go. Now we're back to this. See that the hub connects. Yeah. There we go, all connected. And let's press play. Now our little train will run around the track forever and ever until the batteries die or we press stop. But let's go back to the menu, stop the train and do something a bit different. Right, so we've got this block of code here. Um, we're now gonna tell the motor to run for 10 seconds. So we need a timer. There we go. And in the timer it says one second, we're gonna change that to 10. There we go. And then we're gonna tell the motor to stop. So the motor's gonna run for 10 seconds and then just stop. And we're just going to put a stop button right at the end of this code in, just to smarten it up. There we go. And now let's press play again, see what happens. And now back to the app. Now we're going to change the timer for when the train stops. It's only going to stop for five seconds. And after five seconds, it's now going to run in the opposite direction. So we need another motor symbol. And to get it to run in the opposite direction, we put a minus number. So we put minus 50. And we want this to run for 10 seconds as well. So we need another timer. Let's find a timer. Let's put that up and let's change that for 10 seconds. And let's press play and see what happens. Right, next thing, we want this to run in a continual loop for quite a while. So what we will do now is change some of the coding. So we need to put a motor stop block in, which we put in there. We'll get rid of the stop sign because we won't need that anymore. Next, we need the loop code block. So there we go. We get all that code in and we put it in the loop and then we marry that up to the start sign. What I'll do is I'll change the times here. So we'll just have the motor running for five seconds and then the train will stop for two seconds. Then it'll run back in the other direction for five seconds. And we need a, another timer. So let's get that up. And we'll stop the train for two seconds. There we go, and we press play. And now the train will run continually in that loop. Keep going back and forth, back and forth 
until it runs out of batteries or you press stop. Um, I hope this has been some help to you. I think in the next episode, we'll get two hubs running, i.e. two trains running. Um, until then, see you later. Bye.